Hi there. Today we're off to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic and we're going to fly from London Gatwick via British Airways business class. Do you want to see what it's like? Here we are at the check-in uh, experience at uh, British Airways Gatwick South and look at the size of the queue on this. It's not very impressive is it? 25 minutes later, here we are at the front of the queue. Still a big queue to get in though. Look at all that. In fairness, they opened about three more gates, but it's still not, uh, still not the most impressive of first impressions. Not a mean one today, oh. don't you worry. <laughs> My, Unless you don't allow me in, obviously, and then you are clearly. But you can <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. Here we are in the business class lounge at London Gatwick. Uh, now, there's only one lounge to pick from uh, here at Gatwick for British Airways, and it's this. Um, one that's built on two levels and this is new since last time I was here bit of table football why not so eventually we got through uh, security um, actually in fairness security was pretty quick the problem was checking in British Airways check-in took 25 minutes and that's in the dedicated business class queue which I don't think is very impressive to be fair doesn't give the great first impression of uh, welcoming hospitality for British Airways, does it really? Anyway, we made it to the lounge and here we are. Some great views of the apron. Look at that. Obviously only one runway here at uh, Gatwick, so you're going to see them all. They're all going to go from there. So we'll just do a quick lounge tour. Um, so that's the way in over there. Delightful people on the gate, I would hasten to add. Uh, coffee, a sort of foodie, uh, foodie area really. Uh, we can look down on the main concourse here at Gatwick. And this is Terminal South. So we've got more seating as usual. And um, we're going in and get into the more interesting bit. So, coffee, croissant. It's about 10 in the morning here right now, so breakfast's in full swing. And we're going to swing around. We are how we are at the drinks area. Prosecco, etc. Usual choice of spirits. Nothing overly exciting there. But fruit station, nice croissant, full English. I can recommend the uh, sausages. Nice this morning. Here we are, more seating. Less exciting view out this window. But over here, pretty nice. Lots of uh, lots of equipment over here. Oh, there's a North 787 over there. I think I might be trying to get on one of those actually on one of these trips. one of the old uh, triple sevens that we're going to be on today so yeah should be a nice trip looking forward to this I mean what's not to like we're going to the Caribbean for a week happy days see you later 
So, a little bit more about this flight today. Uh, we are going to be travelling from Gatwick over to the Dominican Republic and we're travelling on a 777-200. It's unbelievably 25 years old and we're travelling in the old Club World setup. So it should be interesting to see how that uh, stacks up given that we've recently been on uh, some Club Suite uh, flights. So hopefully we'll get a decent uh, view as to what it's uh, how it's shaping up and how it's holding up because it's pretty uh, it's pretty ancient now speak soon Six months and months ago, uh, we were put at different ends of the cabin, but that was resolved pretty quickly by the crew on board. So here we are, nice little window seat, cocooned away from the world. I'm in 4K, uh, which is quite close towards the back end of this front cabin in this 25-year-old Boeing 777-200. Um, so let's have a quick look around, shall we? Uh, we've got the screen here, which gives us a nice bit of uh, privacy, and as we go down we can see the um, USB point and the uh, uh, tighter for the headphones. We've got the remote control for the screen. So we can have a look at that. So fairly self-explanatory to be fair. It's going back in hopefully. Um, we've got the seat. We're looking around, and then we've got in front of us, we've got the uh, table here, which folds down like this. It's a bit stiff, but nevertheless, it seems to be working quite well. There's your table, slides all the way towards you, and all the way away from you, and fold it over halfway for your drinks and away again to get rid of it. Pretty good design though. What isn't good design however is this screen. I mean, you know, in its day it was fine. These days, not so much. Low resolution. The other thing I don't like is that it waggles. I absolutely hate that. We'll have a look at the entertainment a bit later on, but we've got that screen. It does tilt a bit and we could probably get it, you know, get something half decent out of it but yeah it's it's a bit bit old hat these days really 4k that's ironic isn't it there's no way that's a 4k screen right and then we've got the actual footrest uh, so we'll just do a bit of jiggery pokery there and that's what you put your feet on when uh, you're in bed mode uh, but we're not in bed mode now so we'll do a bit of swapping that around We've got the most enormous engines there on this 777. Quite a nice view now, actually. We might have a look, a look at what other things we've got later on. And we're back to us. The other thing that we've not looked at, a few things actually we've not looked at, where well, we've got down here, we've got a menu. We'll take a look at that in detail shortly. A bit of information. We've got a um, AC adapter down there. And we've got a little drawer down here for storage, which has got water and the amenity kit in it. And then on the floor, because I didn't have anywhere else to put it, big pillow. And a big blanket. 
it's day flight, so I'm not sure I'm going to be doing an awful lot of sleeping on uh, today's flight, but uh, there we go. Now I have to have the option anyway. Um, and then what else have we got? Up above, not a lot to be fair. Lights, and that's about it. No individual air nozzles, which is a shame, isn't it, really? But there we go. We've got a um, nine-hour flight today, so should be a uh, should be a decent trip over the uh, over the Atlantic. Hopefully, no turbulence, and uh, we can uh, report back a bit more later on. Cheers. Time to take a look at the menu. So, as I said, this is our lunchtime flight. So. This is our choices, um, prawns to start, I think, for me, although the tomato and red pepper soup, I suspect it's going to be pretty good. The main course, uh, pork belly for me, I think, although the trout does sound nice. I've had bad, bad issues with the mushroom and leek pie, and uh, in fact there was a chicken and leek pie, I think, in the past on BA, so I won't be having that um, unless they've run out, because we're right at the back of this cabin. And then desserts. Funnily enough, I'm not a massive fan of either panna cotta or date and caramel cake, so I might even have the cheese. Who knows? And then excitingly, afternoon tea. So it's a nine-hour flight, so we do have quite a um, quite a long time to uh, get over the Atlantic. So they do tend to do a, a second uh, second serving. Um, I don't think I've had afternoon tea that I remember uh, for a good long while. Um, so, looking forward to that. The beverages, the usual bits and pieces. If people are interested in the uh, in the bar, uh, we've got some cocktails, mocktails, um, and the usual range of spirits. Maybe a cheeky beer or two. Who knows? Sounds good, doesn't it? Let's let's go. A word on the uh, headphones. Uh, so they came in a pre-packaged plastic wrap. I suppose it meets its uh, its clean at least. Flying start envelope. Make sure you put your spare change in that. And the actual headphones themselves. Pretty cheap. Uh, they are noise cancelling, but they're probably not as uh, as good as the ones you've got yourself. To be perfectly honest. Um, but there we go. It means we get to watch our movies and uh, have a little bit of noise cancellation going on. Um, so, better than the alternative, isn't it? because we've been stuck here for a few minutes, not many, but a couple of minutes, because uh, they've got some planes landing ahead of us. So uh, it is a, we've just had an easy jet. Uh, I think it was A320 come in. And what have we got now? We've got someone more. A bit windy. What is that? That's an easy jet. It did look like it was going around then never seen that before from this angle. How interesting. A 
maybe that'll give us a chance to uh, get going now, do you think? drink has arrived, um, which we ordered prior to takeoff. Um, we didn't have time for a pre-takeoff uh, drink today because we we're a little bit late in boarding, um, but they did uh, they did ask us what we wanted, so I went for a nice beer. Uh, we've also got some salted rosemary snack mix, a mix of cashews, almonds and chickpeas. So I think we'll... Uh, We'll be okay with that, and we've started our first movie, so uh, all is well. Time to take a look at the amenity kit. As usual, this is the British Airways White Company amenity kit, despite being in a black leatherette pouch. Uh, let's have a look. We've got ear, eye mask, not ear mask, eye mask. Very nice, very soft, very comfortable. British Airways eye masks. Excellent. Socks. Okay. Let's have a look at them, shall we? They're soft. They're new. They won't last very long. They're not bad, actually. You know, I do use them occasionally, but not that often. Earplugs. Great for night flights. Probably won't be using them today. Information about the White Company. Pulse Point. Now, thank you for those who've replied and said, this is how you use Pulse Point. I now know. I've tried it. I don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. But who knows? Maybe I'll try it again. Dental kit. Always good. Pen. Now, pen. I have heard a rumour that British Airways are getting rid of their pen. Travesty if that is the case. Absolute travesty. One of the best things about it, in my opinion. How many more bits have we got? It's like a lucky dip, this, isn't it? Except, to be honest, we know what we're going to get, don't we? Two more things to go. We've got the... What have we got? Ah. Moisturizer. Give that a little go. Very nice, actually, that one. And finally, yep, you guessed it, lip balm. Very nice. Use that a lot. We're done. Amenity kit. My family did these. Great Christmas presents. See you later. So the lunch has started to arrive, uh, we've got, despite ordering the prawns, there was a catering snafu, was the word. So instead we've got salmon and crab, some rather nice looking bread, butter, quinoa salad, uh, nice pinot noir, cheeky beer. Actual cutlery. Should we give it a try? Who doesn't like a bit of crab? I don't know, but not me. I love it. Right, so let's see how we can. Uh... Don't want that, do we? No, we don't 
don't need knives. Oh, we do, but not right now. Blimey, three knives. Are these all knives? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's the coldest fork on Earth. Let's have a, let's have a try. It's my main course soon too. Now I'm going to take a look at the uh, moving map on board, which uh, I, def think, I definitely think has been upgraded since the last time I was on one of these 777s, uh, because this version is much better, much more responsive. Um, so as you can see there, you can spin the map to your heart's content, you can zoom in, zoom out, it's all pinchable. Um, gives you a bit of information there about uh, time to destination etc are um, but the other thing that you can do is pop up with the actual um, full list of all the information uh, that you could possibly want in both Imperial and in Metric uh, so there we are we're just climbing through 4,200 feet and uh, yeah we've got a long way to go but uh, yeah I'll be watching this for quite a while I think today much better than it used to be very good. And there we go, we get to uh, scroll it through all the different things. Main course has arrived. Pork belly. Actually that looks and smells more importantly delicious. Let's see what we can do shall we? Roast potatoes, gravy, pork belly, wow. Well, don't know where to start really. Sounds good. Wi Fi on board, so uh, BA are spending quite a lot of money along with most other airlines to get their uh, Wi Fi on board up to scratch. Um, unfortunately, it is still a payable uh, thing on British Airways, although they are introducing uh, free messaging for those executive club members um, at some point during 2024. Um, that's not ready yet on this particular flight. I'll pop the pricing up uh, on board on the screen shortly. And uh, yeah, Wi Fi. said that this system is a bit more responsive than ones I'm used to. Um, it's not necessarily the fastest. Um, so yeah, TV. Uh, and again, it's all down to the um, Paramount Plus tie-in that uh, British Airways seem to have with Paramount Plus. Audio. There's normally some decent podcasts on here. Um, uh, so radio and podcasts. There's island discs. Um, so yeah, lots of uh, lots of audio reading, but also quite a lot of music. Um, as you would imagine, it's a fairly eclectic mix of different international uh, audio uh, music that you can listen to. Uh, but yeah, there's lots and lots and lots of information there, and lots of things to listen to. Skyflyers for the uh, youngsters. Um, 
I remember uh, my kids enjoying this section quite a lot. And again, it's split down by movies and TV. And then finally, you've got some games. Uh, Angry Birds. Now these are all controlled by the um, handset that we looked at, which is down here by the, by the bottom there. Um, but yeah, fair amount to keep me entertained. What to watch, that's the question. Afternoon tea has arrived. Uh, we've got sandwiches. There was an extra one there, but a certain someone has eaten it before I got a chance to film it. We've got scone, jam, macaroons, and a coffee. Sounds like a good afternoon tea to me. Just a word about the crew then. We're three quarters of the way through the flight and yeah, I think, as I've mentioned before, BA crew, very polarising, either absolutely fantastic or really, really patchy. Um, these, this crew today, absolutely excellent, really the perfect blend of both service as well as informality. Um, so, a couple of examples spring to mind. Um, when we got on board, uh, there was the confusion about the seats. Um, no question, just get it sorted, get it, get it delivered. We were able to sit together. Um, it was all handled extremely well. Um, and then the, the internal communication between the two, uh, the two members of staff who were um, who were doing this part of Club World, um, you know, was excellent. So one briefed the other one about our situation. So. It was all very, very good. Um, you know, very, very proactive in terms of drinks and in terms of food. Um, excellent lines of communication, really couldn't, couldn't uh, fault it. And then the sort of cherry on the cake really was um, uh, this trip is part of a, uh, a big birthday in the, uh, in the household. Um, and I mentioned in passing to one of the crew that it was um, my wife's uh, birthday while we're away, uh, quite a big birthday, and lo and behold, and I, I didn't um, I didn't elicit this in any way, shape, or form, but lo and behold, a few minutes later, a um, a rather nice card uh, for birthday, uh, personally addressed to uh, the missus, together with a bottle of champagne. So how lovely is that? I'm not sure if they've clocked me um, doing these videos or not, but I don't think so. And if they have, so be it. But what a very nice gesture that is. So there'll be some thank you cards uh, flowing to uh, some of the BA crew uh, in due course. So yes, really very impressive indeed. And, and probably one of the things that makes BA uh, one of the one of the most loyally um, uh, trusted uh, airlines. Um, so yeah, very impressive for what is you know a, a a not a great spend by BA. You know it's elicited so much goodwill as far as we're concerned. So well done them. More later. Bye. Just enough time to show you the uh, flat bed. So as you recall, there's the flap that you use as the end. You fold that down. You've got the seat there that's already a little bit reclined, but down here you've got the seat controls and you can make it into a, into a flat bed if you hold it down. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's going all the way down. This bit's come up to meet the flat bed. That bit goes down if you mess with it. And then there's a mattress topper and a blanket. Very nice too. Could get very comfortable in there, I think. So here we are then. 
10 minutes to land and I thought I'd just summarise the flight really. What's not to like in all honesty is loads of space, food is very good, the crew were outstanding. Um, you know, the, the actual hard product, the seat and everything for a day flight is good. 4K is not a bad seat to have because you can access the uh, aisle uh, without having to step over other people's feet. And fundamentally, that's the big flaw with this uh, layout. But I think everyone knows that if you choose your seat carefully or you're lucky enough to get assigned that seat, um, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're on to a winner. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it is an old product. I think given a choice, I probably would fly Club Suite. Um, but nevertheless, this is a good option. The um, Gatwick fleet, I don't think he's ever going to get Club Suite though, to be fair. I think they're just going to retire the 777s at some point and, and not bother with doing the upgrade. Um, so that is a shame, but I get it. You know, Gatwick is a leisure market. It doesn't tend to have that sort of premium business heavy uh, requirement so there's not that big an incentive to uh, to upgrade we're going to be um, we're going to be taking this uh, this flight back to Gatwick in a week's time that's an overnight flight so it'll be interesting to uh, do a comparison with that um, but in the meantime uh, yeah been a really really nice flight and uh, yeah I'll uh, see you on the next one bye